Picture this. Every morning, millions of women in India bend down not just to pray, but to draw math. With rice flour and sacred dots, they create loops and curves that have baffled scientists for decades. What's their secret? Let me take you back 2,000 years. Ancient Tamil texts like the Sangam literature describe these patterns, columns, as symbols of prosperity. But here's the thing. These women weren't mathematicians. They were artists, mothers, grandmothers. Yet their columns hold codes that match nature itself. In the 1990s, a scientist named Prof. S. Naranan made a jaw-dropping discovery. He found columns built on the Fibonacci sequence, the same spiral in galaxies, sunflowers, and even your DNA. One column uses a 22 over 7 grid. Sound familiar? That's pi, approximated centuries before Europe. How? We still don't fully know, but there's more. These women didn't use rulers or equations. They followed ancestral rules, dots arranged in grids, lines that never break. Every column is a fleeting gift. Rice flour feeds ants and birds by dawn, a ritual of math and magic. Now here's the kicker. Modern programmers are using column patterns to design AI and computer codes. Imagine an art form older than the Roman Empire is shaping tomorrow's tech. But why? What did these women know that we're just uncovering? And wait, the oldest columns aren't in caves. They're in poems and songs from 300 BCE, yet their math feels timeless. Is this India's hidden genius? A bridge between art and science drawn in rice flour? If you're amazed, smash that like button. And subscribe to Universal Insights, because next time we'll explore how these patterns might hold clues to lost civilizations. You won't want to miss it.